I think it's, it's, it's a key point that we reassess. Um, we did go against England. We did struggle at the back end. I think the key focus for us is to is to to execute back better at the back end of our overs. I think we, we got it uh, right the first six after the first game. Uh, there was improvement. For me, the key is going to be the back end overs, the last four or five overs. I think the key is for us to, to make a decision on the day which bowler is ready. I think uh, Katie's had a long break now to get him back into mat match fitness. Anrich, Anrich also just came back from injuries. He was going to play a game yesterday, but it got rained out. Um, so it's key that we assess where the guys are with the, the bowling fitness and the workload, not to push them too quickly. But um, Cage is a young man, Anrich is a young man. I'm sure they're keen to bowl. Yeah, I think Cage needed that. He's played a lot of cricket, I think. Um, we had to make that call and I think it was uh, a good call. I think he, he looks refreshed, um, he looks hungry for cricket again. Um, he's only 24 years old so I think Cricket South Africa sitting down with a brain trust uh, made that decision and I think it was a good decision. I think sometimes you have to make a cricket hungry for cricket again. I know with the amount of cricket sometimes you go from game from one format into another format. I know it's a big year for us in the World Cup and we want him fresh and, and, and ready to go. I think his pace is going to be key for us in the series. I think it does bring a different um, kind of a role to our, our team where we've got a few medium paces. Then it's always nice to have a bit of pace at the back end. Uh, up front with a new ball, he always looks to strike, so he's our strike bowler. I was very impressed, I think. Um, uh, I was unlucky I couldn't see a guy like Magala play, but you know, that's, that's just one of those things. Um, but the other guys who stepped up, I was impressed. Lungi, he won us the first game, but also his first six overs was key to us. He kept on taking a wicket, a wicket or two. Um, at the back end, there's still a lot of work to be done, and, and that's what we were looking for, I think. Um, they knowing now what to to rectify when they come back and play for South Africa. I think the guys were unbelievable with the bat. Um, in the spinning department, we like to see more wickets, just a bit more consistency. Up front with the new ball, I also like to see if we can get three wickets up front. That does put the team back. And then obviously our big thing is bowling at the death, I think, is, is, is to get the guys to execute under pressure. Um, you can do as much as you want in nets, but in games, you learn a lot more and game preparation and net preparation is totally different. So in the games, I want to see us execute more control. I, I just think uh, it could be Yorkers, even our slower ball. I think sometimes a slower ball was too full, so we didn't execute that as well. So you always want to start with a win. I think uh, winning games gives you confidence. Um, You'll obviously you lose. When you lose, you also learn from it. But winning is, is so much different. I think um, it's key for us to win games under pressure. Uh, it was a nice thing to play games under pressure against England. And you could see, you could see the guys were a bit flustered. But that's the thing. You learn from it. And then as long as they learn from their, their mistakes, they can rectify it.